What if the horror stories we tell around campfires aren't just stories, but harrowing truths masked as tales? Yes, you heard it right. There exists a peculiar fascination with these spine-chilling narratives, shared under the cloak of night, with nothing but the crackling fire for company. These tales, told with a dramatic flair, often serve as a thrilling escape from reality. Yet, within these narratives of ghouls and specters, there lies a grim reality. Some of these stories, my dear listeners, are not just figments of an overactive imagination. They are inspired by real events, by actual occurrences that have sent shivers down the bravest of spines. We are drawn to these tales, not merely for the thrill they offer, but because they remind us of the thin line that separates the world of the living from that of the unknown. So buckle up, my friends. Prepare for a chilling journey through darkness, where reality and nightmare intertwine. Our journey begins with a group of friends on a camping trip in the dense forests of the Pacific Northwest. These aren't your average city folks, mind you. They are seasoned adventurers, each with a thirst for thrill, a love for the wild, and a penchant for the unknown. As the sun begins its descent, casting long shadows that dance on the forest floor, our group finds a suitable spot to set up camp. The air is filled with the scent of pine and earth, the sounds of nature providing a soothing symphony. They erect their tents, each one a small fortress against the mysteries of the night. With the campsite established, the focus shifts to creating a beacon of warmth and light. The campfire, the crackle of the firewood, the mesmerizing dance of the flames, and the comforting heat it provides all combine to create a sense of safety. But as the darkness grows and the forest becomes a silhouette of secrets, the campfire also becomes a stage. One by one they begin to share tales of horror and mystery. Each story, more bone-chilling than the last, sends a shiver down their spines. But one story stands out, capturing their attention and gripping their fears. It's a tale not of ghosts or ghouls, but of a creature so terrifying it has become a legend in these parts. A monster that lurks in the darkness of the forest, waiting, watching. The tale paints a vivid picture of this creature, so real that it seems the very trees whisper its name. As the story reaches its climax, the campfire seems to dim, the shadows around them seem to grow darker, and the forest sounds seem eerily quiet. The friends are left with a lingering sense of unease, the story's terrifying creature etched into their minds. The fire crackles, the night deepens, and an eerie silence descends on the campsite. As the tale concludes, the friends laugh it off, unaware that the story they mocked holds a grim truth. So it goes, the night deepens and the campfire's glow becomes the only beacon in the inky darkness. The jovial atmosphere starts to wane as subtle, strange occurrences begin to infiltrate the group's consciousness. The leaves rustle, though there's no wind to speak of. The sound is soft at first, like a whisper, but it grows louder, more insistent. It's not the gentle sway of nature, but an irregular unsettling rustle, as if something is moving through the foliage disturbing the peace of the night. From the distant darkness, a low growl echoes, chilling the bones of the listeners. It's primal, raw, and unlike any sound they'd heard before. It's not quite an animal, not quite human, but something in between. The growl reverberates through the silence, a reminder of the wild and unknown world that exists beyond the comforting glow of their fire. Shadows begin to dance in the periphery, darting in and out of sight, playing tricks on their terrified minds. The darkness seems to close in, the firelight shrinking before the advancing night. The shadows are fleeting, elusive, like phantoms mocking their growing fear. And then, the unthinkable happens. One of their own, who had gone to fetch more firewood, does not return. Calls for him go unanswered, swallowed by the night. Panic sets in, a ripple of fear running through the group. The laughter and merriment from earlier seem like distant memories replaced by a palpable dread. The friends huddle closer to the fire, their only source of light and warmth in this terrifying darkness. Their eyes dart around, scanning the surrounding wilderness, their minds playing out the horror story they once laughed at. The realization hits them like a cold wave. They are not alone in these woods. The friends are now living the horror story they once laughed at. 
The darkness of the night holds more terror than any of them could have imagined. As the fire crackles and the shadows dance, they are left to wonder what lurks in the unseen corners of the forest, waiting for the fire to die out. Dawn breaks, but the terror of the night lingers. The chilling darkness gives way to the soft light of morning, revealing a campsite shrouded in eerie silence. The laughter and camaraderie of the previous evening have been replaced by a palpable dread. Something is wrong, terribly wrong. One of their own, a friend, is missing. The tent he should have been sleeping in is empty, his sleeping bag untouched. His absence is like a gaping hole in their midst, a chilling reminder of the horror story they had shared around the crackling fire the previous night. At first, they thought he was playing a prank. After all, he was known for his love of mischief. But as the hours tick by, the initial amusement gives way to an unsettling concern. The forest around them, once filled with the comforting sounds of nature, now echoes with an uncanny silence, amplifying their growing fear. They remember the story that their friend had shared around the campfire. The tale of a local legend, a chilling narrative of a spectral figure that haunted these woods, claiming unsuspecting campers who dared to intrude upon its territory. They had laughed it off as a mere campfire tale, a harmless piece of fiction to add a thrill to their night under the stars. But now, with their friend missing, the story doesn't seem so fictional anymore. It dawns on them that the tale spun around the campfire was not just a story. It was a warning, a chilling prophecy that they had foolishly dismissed as a figment of their friend's imagination. The terrifying realization hits them like a cold wind, sending shivers down their spines. The horror story they had laughed off as a product of a spooky campfire session was a grim reality. Their friend was not playing a prank, he was not lost, he was taken. The tale of the spectral figure was not a mere legend, it was the horrific truth. They had laughed off a tale that was a grim reality. Now, you might think this is just another horror story, but what if I told you it was based on a true event? The words hang in the air, and you might feel a shiver run down your spine. I'm not spinning tales to scare you, this isn't a figment of an overactive imagination. This is a tale steeped in reality, a tale that unfolded in the eerie wilderness of the Pacific Northwest. A group of intrepid adventurers, fueled by a love for the great outdoors, set off on an expedition that none of them would ever forget. The goal was simple, conquer the unexplored trails, experience the thrill of the unknown and create memories to last a lifetime. But the journey took a turn for the terrifying. They were a jovial bunch, laughing off the local folklore that spoke of a menacing creature that lurked in the shadows. Legends and myths, they thought. Nothing more than stories spun to keep curious explorers at bay. But the laughter soon faded, replaced by an eerie silence that blanketed the group. One by one, they disappeared, vanished without a trace, as though swallowed up by the very wilderness they sought to conquer. Search teams scoured the area, their efforts futile until one fateful day when the lost hikers were found in horrifying circumstances. As our journey ends, remember this, not all stories are mere tales. The chilling saga we've traversed is not just a figment of the imagination, but a chilling echo of a real event. A tale spun from the threads of a true incident that happened in the cold, dark woods, where laughter turned into screams and warmth, into icy fear. These narratives, these true horror stories, they shape our perception of reality. They remind us that fear, terror, and the unknown are not merely confined to the realm of fiction. They exist in our world, lurking in the shadows waiting for the sun to set. They force us to question our bravado and confront our fear of the dark, the unknown, and the unexplained. So the next time you're around a campfire, think twice before you laugh off a horror story. It might just be a warning.